take the distributor cap off here. I marked it. I marked number one. Got the cables marked. stuff here a little bit of metal shavings on here you probably can't see it like this one whole piece there's a starter it was new won't be long won't be long I'll be able to flip this over and we'll see what happened to it down here Oop. I don't know if you can see that but my oil has glitter that is not good you don't want to see glitter in your oil I 
take a picture of my cell phone. But that's not good. Now that the oil settled down a little bit, you can maybe see the glitter in the oil. Never mind the bug, he was already there. You can see that that oil has a lot of metal in it. That is definitely not what you want to see in your oil. This cool tool on eBay, it was for a Studebaker actually, but it's for when I put the harmonic balancer back on. And I just want to see if it'll work for this. It seems to line up okay. But the, the depth is a little bit different. This all screws on okay. Get it started. You put it on like that and you beat the harmonic balancer back on and then And then this sets the depth. But I noticed, I marked this beforehand, and this one goes a little bit deeper than the setting on this. So, I just have to remember, when I put it back on, to put a washer in there to make up for that space, and I think I'll be okay. Um, I'll take this off. right here the part numbers are almost the same I put it on here and I made a mark around here I marked the depth so that I'll know when I put the harmonic balancer back on that I'll get the depth correctly um, If you look right here, it needs to come out a fraction, like that. But I have a mark, so I have at least something to go by. And I can use this to pound it back on with. And I'll put a washer in there or something to make up that space, or I may just take it off and hold it up to it keep hitting it until I get it just right but what's good is it does fit it goes right on it perfectly and I like this a lot that I can put it on here like this Lines right up, bang, 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 and it's on there. I'm going to measure this right here. Uh, I mean, it's pretty close. It's about, man, from this, I bet it's not even a sixteenth of an inch. I mean, an eighth of an inch, sorry. I bet it's not even an eighth of an inch. Yeah, so the space is about an eighth of an inch from the from the cover. So I just remember that when I put it back on. So now it's time to take the manifold off. So this is a this 15.
the, the riser looks really really clean yeah looks good I mean the manifold looks clean oh but that's clogged or is it no that's right no I thought it was clogged for a second no that's right it's got a little no it's good This is the long one. See that? The long one goes up here. Not too hard to figure out, but just in case. Pull the sucker off. Knock it loose. Thanks for watching part two. Stay tuned for part three. Please subscribe. Thanks again.